Hello. So we've got this uh, cherry tree in the back garden. Um, it's been there since we moved here about six years ago. Actually, one year less than that because I killed the first cherry tree we planted. And its chances of ever bearing fruit are uh, blighted every year by the aphids that crawl all over it. I have some wood leftovers from some allotment boxes. Some of it's very bendy, but most of it will do. And I select three suitable planks. I check the three that are picked line up perfectly. I assume the kids are playing uh, something wholesome. Uh, and here I am measuring out the top, the bottom and the shelves using the width of the board as a guide. My Japanese pull saw makes light work of the sides uh, and then also the bottom parts and the shelves. Now I'm pretty sure I intended to use glue here as well as nails but uh, <laughs> I must have forgot so over time it might prise itself apart. We'll deal with that when it happens. Uh, and here I am hammering in nails uh, waking up as many of the neighbours as possible. And here it is in its full glory, uh, and somehow I misjudged the side of the back, but I'm sure the bugs won't mind that crack. And in box one I found some branches and twigs and uh, saw them all to size. Yeah, that's better, you can see what I'm doing now. <laughs> and in box two I'm wedging in some bark, which might be homely to some kind of bugs. Box three, bamboo canes. Um, I scavenge around the garden for broken bits of bamboo from uh, sword fights with the kids. Soon it became clear that it wasn't enough, so I had to go and raid the, uh, the actual stash of them. Conveniently, there was a wooden stake next to the tree, which uh, I used to support it when it was a sapling. Um, I'm not sure the tree appreciated it, because it appears to be growing away from it. Uh, so to start off, I moved the scabby bit at the top, which was mostly split apart from hammering it in. And then I screwed a box directly to the, uh, the stake. Apparently I didn't film myself putting the twigs in, you can imagine that. Uh, now here's the bark being unceremoniously wedged in. And then the canes. And I had to find more canes still, because they settled down and uh, didn't fill the whole box. And like a pro, I saved two to slot in at the end, close up. And with that, it was done. Uh, as you can see from these photos, the eldest son was fascinated. He, couldn't, he can't wait for the bugs to move in. And the dog couldn't give a damn. <laughs> and let's hope all the bugs and ladybugs move in or ladybirds as we actually say here, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.